Today on SBN, Andre will be talking about the Miami Heat looking forward to playoffs. And we'll also be talking about LEGO The Incredibles video game. SBN, SBN starts, starts now. now. Hello and good morning Wolfpack, my name is Diego Peraza and my name is John DeFuo and this is your SPN News for today. Students welcome back, I hope or we hope you all had a great spring break and you all uh, did something great. Now before you ask, yeah I know all of you are tired and you all just got back from the break. I understand your pain, high school is stressful, I know. No offense to you Dr. Gigi, you're a great lady and I love you, I really do. But anyway, um, this is to the juniors, which I'm one of them. Uh, the practice college dashboard test is coming on the 24th of this month, so be sure to practice this week and next week, okay? And now, let's sign up to Andre with, with your, your sports. sports. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Andre Rora on your sports shirt today. In some NBA news, your Miami Heat will be taking on Philadelphia 76ers in the first round of the playoffs. Let's go Heat. Remember when we stated that the 2012 Walt Disney film, Wreck-It Ralph, will have a sequel? Well, I hope you remember what I said, because the trailer has just rolled up just a week ago. Taking place six years after the events of the first one, Ralph and Penelope discover a Wi-Fi route in the arcade, leading them into a new world. This is our first non-Pixar animated sequel since the straight-to-DVD sequels of the 90s and 2000s. I'm not sure how the film will go, judging by Disney's performance in the sequel department. But in their defense, Disney was in a rather bad spot during the 2000s outside of the help from Pixar. But they have improved in the 2010s, so I and many other people will see how it goes when it comes out fall 2018. One more thing, if you have seen the trailer and reached to the end, there is something interesting. I am talking about this child character playing with the iPad that resembles baby Moana and the fact that most of the Disney princesses are listed in the IMDB casting list. But that's probably just me. This is Luke Arcovas, reporting for SBN. Good morning, Wolfpack. This is Christopher Teles with your political news. While it seems the incarceration system in America is going to be having quite the confusion, just after the Trump administration had finally decided to join the initiatives of the former, even though slashing many of the funds for school training, tech training, and rehab programs as well, which has grown bipartisan support, by the way. And also for quick side news as well, um, Paul D. Ryan has also announced his resignation from chairman, which is which has overstayed the party and also a few donorships. One last fact to remain, however, over 6,000 prison jobs had actually been fired during the Trump administration due to the slashes, and some teachers have actually tried to switch to security duties Due to low personnel. This has been Christopher Chalazer, your political news. Oh my goodness, guys. They finally did it. The greatest Disney Pixar movie is finally coming back. I am so, so happy that Disney Pixar decided to give The Incredibles a little bit more with Wii Flash. And I am so excited for this game to come out June 18, 2018. So this game will be included in Nintendo Switch Xbox One and the PS4 and Disney Pixel is going to put two incredible films in one game and I hope that I will make a series about it when it comes out. Reporting for SPN, I am Jonathan Fuero. Well, that's all we have for today. We'll see you next time on the next SPN video. video. <laughs>